The purpose of the research that we're reporting in this study is to see whether a broad set of political values are under genetic influence. We wanted to do a broad scale survey of twins, specifically looking at a large set of political attitudes and values and see whether this heritable influence is broad scale rather than just being limited to ideology. I think the big implication of the sort of research that we presented in this paper for political psychology is it points us to a path to where we can know more about why people have the political opinions and attitudes that they do. Specifically, these attitudes and opinions, these predispositions that you know traditionally we've not known where they come from, clearly seem to be anchored in biology. For political psychology specifically, we've tended to think of political attitudes and behaviors as being rooted in the environment. And what our study shows, along with a number of other studies, is that they seem to be at least partially uh, be rooted in our biology. People who are very liberal or very conservative tend to view the other side as irrational or stubborn. You know, I present them with the argument, with the information, and they are just mule-headed and won't see reality. One of the things that we think will happen is if people realize that people are truly different, they're biologically different, it's a part of who they are, it may increase tolerance. The classic twin design is useful for examining genetic influences on a trait or a characteristic. If you can imagine two sets of these twins, one fraternal, one identical, and they're uh, raised in the same household. So they have the same parents, the same siblings, they go to the same schools, probably have similar friends, they have the same race, the same religion, the same cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds. If one set of twins ends up more alike than the other, chances are that that is being driven by genetics, not by the environment, because the environment is being held constant. The claim of the critics is that identical twins, monozygotic twins, have more similar environments. For example, they are more likely to be dressed alike. They are more likely to be mistaken for each other. And it is the similar environments that are making the identical twins more similar to each other, not the difference in uh, a, a genetic relationship. And what I'd say is we've tested that assumption in a number of cases and found that it basically just doesn't hold water. And there have been a number of studies that have extended the twin design to consider moms and dads and sisters and cousins. And the bottom line is the tie to the genetic relationship, you always find the tie to the relationship on the trait of interest. I'd be willing to admit or even um, uh, give the critics uh, uh, some leeway and say that maybe this assumption is being violated to a certain extent but to the extent to where the estimate of heritability is zero or non-trivial, that simply seems to fly in the face of a large amount of empirical evidence. Mm -hmm.